Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to talk about something a little different. We're gonna talk about a little bit of route planning and uh, a hack that I've recently learned with Rever and an iPad. So one of the things that I've always done is I've, I try to pride myself on being prepared uh, for all kinds of things. So just say you're out on a trip and you've, you've done all your planning, you've pushed it to your Garmin, whatever GPS you're using, whatever you're doing, and then somewhere along the lines, you have to change and you gotta make a, make a, a drastic change to your route. So how do you do that? Do you pack a laptop so you can stop, sit on the side of the road or whatever, the trail and, and, and make a change? How do you do that? So when I was in Colorado on, on the BDR, uh, last summer, as we all probably know, they had some massive, massive forest fires, and it changed things. Uh, we were very fortunate. We got to do the entire route. We just had to make one little detour, and it was simple enough that it didn't require any further route editing. But what if it did? What do we do? I, I want to be prepared. I don't want to worry about, am I lost? Am I on the right track? Did I miss something that was a big part of a BDR or, or a ride that I planned, whatever that case may be? I don't want to miss that stuff. So I want to plan. So recently I started using the Rever app or I shouldn't say the app. I use the Rever program. So, all right. So if you go over here to my activities and then go down below, sorry, it's rebooting there. Real world problems and then click on planned, it pulls up my rides. Now, we're gonna start with this first one, Big Bend Day One. Let's hit download GPX. Now, I always go to a track and I'll tell you why later. It asks me if I want to download it, I say yes. And then I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna close that. Now, since I'm here, I'm gonna download a couple more. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do Big Bend Day Two. Track. Download it, say yes, save it. Do one more. So this is a 50cc day one. Uh, that's not a 50cc motorcycle. That's uh, 50 hours or less coast to coast. That's day one of that. So, all right, so there's three of them downloaded and we'll close that out. Now, go to my files, look at that. In the downloads, it has three. There's my 50cc day one. Big Bend Day 2, and Big Bend Day 1. Now, we just want to move those from the iPad to my Garmin. So I'm going to do that pretty simple. And the first thing we're going to need is this powered dongle. This is an Apple product, and it's going to plug into the back, and then we're just going to use a regular iPhone cord we we'll are plug it into the dongle and into a power source, and then my Garmin cord into my Garmin. And then for a power source, just for, I'm just using a, a battery backup that I take when I go on off-road trips. All right, so let's move this aside, we'll place that up here. I'm gonna take the Garmin, and I'm using a Nav6, but I imagine all of them are pretty close to the same. We'll plug that in. Try to place that where you can see it too. Let's run that around the back. It'll be a little better. Maybe, maybe not. I forgot I do got to plug it in, so. Bear with me there. Now we're going to plug the, the dongle in to the iPad and then plug the power cord into my power supply. All right, so quickly the iPad or the Garmin, sorry, realized it was plugged into something. As you can see, it's now doing its thing, right? I hope we can all see this. So if you look over here, you can see that it has not recognized the Garmin yet. Uh, I don't know why it's not instantaneous, but it's not. It takes it a minute or something, but it will recognize it and it'll populate. There it says untitled right there. And there's my Garmin. 
So, let's see how we do this. Okay, so I'll show you how we do this. Really simple. I go into my downloads, I hit select, and we'll start with Big Ben Day 1. And then down at the bottom, it says move. I click on move, it pulls up my menu, and I want to put it to the Garmin GPX, and I hit copy. And maybe I didn't download it out of that. Boom. There it goes. All right, select, move, Garmin GPX, and copy. Select, 50cc, move, Garmin GPX, and copy. All right. That's, they're both, or all three should be on the Garmin now. So let's take a look. So unplug the Garmin. come up <clears throat> I'm trying to do this so you can see and I apologize if you can't but I hope you can I agree I'm gonna go to apps we'll go to tracks and there's my tracks now this is important for me uh, I had an issue when I downloaded a GPX file, I think it was a BDR ride, and I, for whatever reason, I downloaded it into Basecamp and then converted it to a trip and then pushed it to my Garmin. So I don't do that any longer. Most of these things are created in a track file, as you, I showed you how I did there. So I leave it as a track file until it gets to here. Now I take and I select this one. I click on the wrench, and I don't know, I always set my color, I like red. I hit save, I'm going to show it on the map, and then I'm going to convert it to a trip, and I want to go start to finish. You can, you can change it. So, there it's going pretty quick. So there it's saved. Go to trip planner, there it is. So, back to my track, Big Ben Day 2. Again, shows it on the map. I want to see it. I'm going to change it to red. Save it. Convert it to a trip. Start to finish. Don't need to name anything different. Go back. Oop, one more time. Trip planner. There it is. Really works well. Um, just using an iPad, uh, the full version instead of the app version of Rever uh, has really helped. Um, it's going to be my new go-to on the trail. It allows me to make edits, changes, and I feel confident that I'm not going to get lost or whatever the case may be. I don't know. There's a million things that can happen. So, so let me know what you think of the video. Uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and keep an eye out for upcoming videos. I uh, still have a full video on my two GPS setup coming, uh, a few more parts coming today. So next few days, I hope that'll be out. All right, thanks for watching.